girl. Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It is I, your sister from another Mr. Thick Chick Vlogs, girl, and yes, we are here to read some Waste This Motherfucking Time 2016 tweets. Now, look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. In no shape, form, nor fashion am I co-signing any of these motherfucking tweets, okay? But let me just let me let me just say this. Back in the back back day, okay? Back in the motherfucking back back day, Thick Chick Vlogs, um, might have participated in a couple of few of these um, scenarios, just fucking saying. We already know dudes waste our fucking time all the time. Not saying that women don't do it, okay? I'm not saying women don't waste guys' time. Not saying that. But me being a woman, I can only speak for what dudes do, okay? And back in the back, back day, your girl has been played quite a few times. So, of course, when I saw these tweets, I thought they were fucking funny. Now, I wouldn't advise anybody to do this shit because, of course, it can get somebody hurt. And there has been a couple of guys who have gotten upset about these Waste His Time 2016 tweets. When half of the motherfucking tweets are something that these dudes have done or are currently doing right now. So why are you mad, though? You know what I'm saying? When the shoes on the other motherfucking feet, just saying, like that song go has to go. Um, um, uh, what if a woman? What if a woman? What if a woman was just like you? What if a woman? What if a woman? What if a woman was just like us? Just saying. So why are you mad though? Y'all motherfucking do this shit. So when a woman wants to do it. Y'all want to get low-key pissed off. But let me go ahead and get into some of these, some of these waste his time 2016 hashtag tweets, okay, girl? Because I thought some of them were pretty goddamn funny, okay, girl? I haven't seen all of them. I've just been scrolling through them randomly. So I figured let's come on here with the fam bam and let's let's discuss a couple of these waste his motherfucking time tweets, okay? Now, this one right here I thought was fucked up. Now, this will get a motherfucker probably decapitated, girl. d incapitated. Wait until your wedding day and then send him a snap from the airport saying, I catch flights, not feelings. Hashtag waste his time 2016. Now that'll get a motherfucker cap back, especially if I'm about to get married, okay? And my goddamn husband to be sending me a goddamn Snapchat from the goddamn airport talking about something I catch flights, not feelings. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm on the next motherfucking thing smoking. Oh, I'm finna find your goddamn ass. Just saying, so don't do that, okay? I thought it was funny, but don't do that. Motherfucker shit down. Because that'll get a motherfucker D and capitated. Just saying. Next one. Let him take you out when you, when he takes you to make sure you got home, okay? Hit him with the who this. Waste his time 2016. That used to piss me off so bad back in the back. back. Especially when being young and dumb, okay? And you sit there and meet a dude and you he probably sit there and, 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 and quote unquote make you fall in love with him. And then you fuck around and text his phone because you already know that he probably got a goddamn woman. So he not about to save your goddamn name his phone, okay, girl? So you text him, and he hit you with that, who is this motherfucker shit? And the, what is the excuse? Anytime anyone texts you, and or anytime you text someone and they say, who this, what's that excuse? Oh, I got a new phone. Motherfucker, you get a new phone every other day? Like, seriously? Like, you seriously get a phone every other motherfucking day? You don't never know who it is that texts your goddamn phone, motherfucker? I don't believe you, okay? You better do like every other dude do and put my name and your goddamn phone on the mark or some shit like that or timing, okay? Just motherfucking saying. Y'all know they do it. Some of y'all women probably do this shit too. Sit there and put a dude name in your phone. If his name Tommy, you put his name in there, Tiffany or some shit. You've done it. Just just admit to the shit, y'all. You Then again, you probably haven't. Just saying. Moving on. Okay. Finally, allow him to take you on a date. Then after, have him drop you off at your other man's house. Hashtag Wasted Time 2016. Don't do that shit. Okay? Don't do that shit. Because number one, your other dude is going to be pissed off. Motherfucker, you putting my life in danger now. That's just like if a goddamn dude uh, doing the hashtag 2016, you let a woman take you out and pay for the date. And then she come he, she come drop you off at my shit. Hell, goddamn, no. Nah, what if she turn out to be one of the most psychedelic motherfuckers who will sit there and, 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 and fuck killing you. But she want to kill my ass because you like me. You got women and men out there that do that shit okay if i if, if, if you're not in love with me they'll sit there and go and kill the the, the person that you are in love with and, and and think that should make you love them if, girl don't do that but i thought it was funny just saying moving on okay now now this right here is fucked up and i back in the back i might tell you know what i just thought of a fucking story time by reading this fucking hashtag 2016 waste his goddamn time 2016 flirt with him a lot as soon as you know he likes you back Ask him if his best friend is single. Now, I, that just made me think of a goddamn story time. I might tell a story time later on, okay? Then again, I might say that one for a later, later date. But I just thought about another story time, too. Y'all might be getting a story time this week as well. That's fucked up. 
flirt with this dude and get him to like you and then gonna ask me if his best friend sing. That's some fucked up ass shit. Cause I mean, so I, I, I do understand a lot of people were saying y'all doing this goddamn shit and your prince charm and your your bow ass the person that you've been waiting for, waiting for for years. You you fucking around wasting this goddamn time. But I'm just saying, fellas, y'all do the same goddamn thing. So you can't be mad. You can't be mad, boo. So let's move on, okay? <laughs> That's fucked up. Now, it was also a news story that came out. Don't know how true this is, but it was a news story that came out that said some dude ended up hurting a girl or shot a girl or some shit like that because she did something with a waste, waste his time tag 2016. I don't believe that motherfucker shit. Some of these people, there's so many damn satire sites that are floating around on Facebook and shit like that that I don't believe half of the shit that go on. Um, all guys are the same. I can't find a good man. Side chick tweets the hashtag waste his time 2016. Damn, that's fucked up. Text him like, I'm horny. Come over. Then when he texts you like, I'm outside, block his number. Bitch. Okay. Now, that's you know that's some fuck shit. Okay. If you sit there and tell a dude, you horny, come on over. And when he get outside or text you that he outside, you block his goddamn number. Bitch, that's some crazy ass shit. Number one, he outside your goddamn house. Why in the hell would you block his fucking number if he outside your goddamn house? Girl. Don't get your motherfucking kitchen split. Just goddamn saying. But I, like I said, I think it's funny. But and I did this shit back in the back bay. They just, just, just fucking saying, okay? Just, 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 just motherfucking say. Just, just, just saying, okay? Okay. Um, ask him out on a double date. Show up with your boyfriend and then ask him where his date is, bitch. Seriously, seriously. Now that's some goddamn. Uh, what they call that shit? Uh. The, a crime of passion, okay? One of them spur of the mama motherfucking things. So, bitch, you mean to tell me you done invited my ass out told me you want to go on a goddamn double date? I'm thinking you got a motherfucking a chick who finna bring her dude and you mean to tell me your ass show up with a goddamn date? And you gonna ask me where my date at? For real, that is? But then again, motherfucker, you didn't ask me if the date was with me or if it was with somebody else. So, I, I guess that's kind of low-key. But, bitch, don't you dare. Don't you goddamn dare do no motherfucking shit like that, girl. Just saying, okay? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Okay, this next one. When he says he wants to get serious, say you like that, and then reply, I'll see. Every time he tries to make plans. You know something? This is bringing so many fucking story times to my fucking mind. Ladies, let me give you a little bit of a... To, to you young 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 women, okay? I can't really... I'm not really, really putting no older women up on game. Before you younger ladies, okay? If a dude... Anytime that you guys make plans to do something, if something always comes up, or if you want him to take you out on a date, he always says, I'll see, and when the date comes, some shit come up. Girl, look, let me tell you something, okay? He motherfucking playing you goddamn ass, just goddamn saying. But look ahead, I thought that shit was hilarious because that shit used to happen to me all the time back in the back of the day. And like I said, we already know that a lot of these people who do this type of shit are probably married or people who have, um, are in very, very serious relationships and they just want some shit on the side. So that's some fucked up shit. Don't do that, girl. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Because it's, it's not, it's not cool, okay? Just goddamn saying. For real, now this is my first time seeing this one. When he tells you to send news, bitch, look at that shit. You already see what that is, right? Those are Mac nude lippies. Bitch, that shit is hilarious. He asked you to send him some news. And ain't that shit annoying? When you have a dude that you literally have just met. I mean, literally, just met family. Okay, a motherfucker said that you accept a dude's friend request. And this is one of the main reasons why I do not accept dudes on my on my thick chick vlog friends list. I don't do it unless I know you. A couple of dudes that are on there and I, I talk to them on YouTube and on Facebook so I know who they are. But I have accepted a couple of dudes on my Facebook page. You know, thick chick vlogs Facebook page. Bitch, as soon as they get on there, I mean literally not even 60 seconds. You sing, send me some pictures. The fuck? Is that not annoying? When you have someone who is on your Facebook friends list, okay? You have goddamn 40, 50 pictures on your uh, Facebook page and a motherfucker asked you to send them a picture? Seriously? Are, are you kidding me? Send me this picture right here. Why the fuck can't you just save it? Why would I send you a picture that's on my profile, motherfucker? Okay, that is fucking stupid. I, I, girl, that shit is annoying as fuck to me. And especially when they ask you to send them, send me a picture of you and your goddamn bra. And I don't, and I'm not trying to be funny. But the people that I notice that do this type of shit are people who are in a, who are in other countries like Africa or 
um, Ghana and shit like that. Most of the people ain't, don't get me wrong, you got some motherfuckers who bowl in the United States that do the shit like that. But I noticed most of the people that do that shit are like from Africa or whatever. I, I, I've never understood that shit. Just saying, I know that I'm chunk, I'm a chunky monkey, just saying, and I know that, you know, I've heard the rumors that whenever, you know, guys in Africa like chunky chicks because, you know, it, it's, it, to them it's like a sign of wealth. Don't necessarily know, but I'm just saying, goddamn. And I noticed that shit happened to me a lot, girl. That's why I stopped accepting dudes on my friends list, okay? That shit is annoying. Very, very annoying, okay? Let's see. Let's move on, okay? Um, and of course, the dudes have been getting in their feelings, and now they have created a new hashtag, Waste Her Time 2016. But y'all motherfuckers been doing that since the beginning of time, so I don't know why y'all thinking that that's a uh, uh, low key. Um, making us feel some type of way. I mean, hell, y'all just putting it in words now, but you've been doing the motherfucking shit. Text him, I miss you, baby, and when he replies, be like, LOL, sorry, wrong person. Waste his time, 2016. Now, that's fucked up. Now, you can do that shit if you got somebody who done uh, pissed your ass off. If you got somebody who done pissed y'all, and uh, uh, you know they done pissed y'all, but you want to piss them off even more, y'all say, LOL, wrong person, and move on. But I'm just saying, just, just be aware that if you do this type of shit, you might be missing out on somebody who's worth a little bit of something. Same with these dudes who, back in the back, like they missed out on all this gorgeousness, okay? Missed out on all of this gorgeousness. Just saying, girl. Look at you. But anyway, we're going to move on, okay? We're going to move the fuck on. Bitch, I just fucking died. I, I got to show y'all this one. Give her the crown, then snatch it back. Bitch. Bitch. Now, I don't want to give Miss Columbia too much. I don't want to give her too much, but of course, I know that she was embarrassed, but she is fucking milking this shit like it's a fucking cow, okay? She's milking the fuck out of this like it's a cow. Of course, she has made um, statements saying that she feels like Steve Harvey did the shit on purpose. Even after this dude brought her on his television show and apologized for Pussy, damn near to tears, girl. So, and, and this motherfucker is still milking this shit like a fucking cow. Was it fucked up? Yes, but hell. Bitch, get the fuck over it. I don't mean to call you a bitch, girl. It's just how the fuck I talk. But I'm just saying that shit is annoying. But yeah, give her the crown and snatch that motherfucker back. Waste of time, 2016. Now, that, that, bitch, that is hilarious. That right there is probably the most epic one I've seen thus far. As far as funny, it's just concerned. Just saying. Yeah. Um, Low-key flirt with him, but then when he starts catching feelings, tell him you're just like a brother to me. Hmm. Don't don't do that. Wow. Make a movie. Make a home movie. Leave him make millions. Waste waste his time. Twenty. That's not really wasting his fucking time. I mean, hell, we already know Ray J probably ain't really want to settle down with Kim Kardashian anyway. So that's not really a waste his time. Twenty sixteen. Now, okay, this is the one I'm gonna end on because girl, I'm getting this shit is getting a, a little bit silly to me. These men and they feelings about waste his time. Twenty sixteen. Um, like they trying to be in a serious committed relationship. Now, no. The thing that's funny about this is the fact that a lot of them are getting upset about it when half of the motherfuckers do the shit, okay? So you mad that I'm tweeting half of the shit that you do on a regular fucking basis, girl. Just motherfucking saying. But anyway, waste this time 2016. If you guys want to see a whole lot of these crazy ass tweets, all you got to do is hit the hashtag waste this time 2016 into your Twitter feed and the shit will fucking come up, girl. Because these motherfuckers are going ham and cheese on the Twitter with the Waste This Time 2016 tweets. Give this video a thumbs up because like I said, this week will be filled with a lot of craziness, girl. A lot of fucking craziness. I will see you guys tomorrow with the next video. Bye.